Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to start my first piece for the Alphabet Superset Art Challenge. The Alphabet Superset is a 26 week challenge where artists like me take on an exciting task of creating something inspired by a different letter of the alphabet each week. Rules of the Alphabet Superset, we've been encouraged to choose a continual theme within the pieces that we create. I chose a 12 by 12 canvas and I'm going to be using that for the rest of this challenge. I'm going to be working exclusively with acrylic paint and my themes are going to be birds and flowers. Now, the birds and flowers are not going to be within scale of what you would see in the wild. They're also not going to be necessarily from the same region. I really wanted to have a lot of artistic freedom in how I approach these pieces. To be honest, I don't know a whole lot about the birds and flowers I chose, but I'm going to be learning more about them as I paint. I've already gone through and picked all 26 bird flowers that I'm going to use for this challenge. I'm excited. I have some pretty interesting combinations that I am honestly a bit intimidated to execute. One painting at a time. One part that is really stressed within this challenge is to share the work that we create. To be honest, that is one of the biggest reasons I am doing this challenge. I just started being active here on my YouTube channel, and the timing of this whole challenge is perfect because I'm going to have to keep creating week to week, and I'm going to have a whole community of people keeping me accountable and hopefully you guys will be too i hope you're interested in the subject matter here i think they're pretty universally loved flowers and birds i've mentioned before that my nana really instilled a love and appreciation for flora fauna specifically birds but they mean a lot to me especially flowers I don't necessarily have a green thumb yet, but I've worked with floral arrangements. I've worked in plant merchandise. So it's been great being surrounded by beautiful things. We're starting with the letter A, because that's the first letter of the alphabet. For the letter A, I decided to choose a bard and strike and some delicate white anemone. I chose both of these because the white and black colors, it seemed a little bit unique from what I usually choose, and I think both are very stunning subjects. Anemones have always been a flower that would be stunning. I've seen them used in a lot of floral arrangements, but I've personally never seen them in person. I think they're stunning though.
you can see a bit of purplish blue hidden within the white of the flowers and the bird. And that contrasts with the peachy orange backdrop. So that would be a complementary color palette. I really liked cutting in the orange here. It's really satisfying and it helped define the shape, especially of the bird. I liked his beak and his breath. I think he's a cute little bird. Something I'm doing a little differently in this video than my previous one is showing a little bit more real time of my painting. However, I'm not showing each and every brush. I'm curious if you all are more interested in seeing a time lapse of my paintings or the slowed down process. I'm going to try to keep the videos as short as possible, unless if you guys are wanting to have a more in depth view. Uh, where I could do an hour-long session or so such. Maybe some paint-along videos or something like that. So please let me know, do you prefer to see a set-up version of my process or to see me by each individual brush stroke? Are any of you picking up the Alphabet Superset Challenge? I'm really curious what you're choosing to create. Not everybody's doing a painting. Some people are doing stop motion animation. Some people are writing. Others are doing skits and such like that. Some people are focusing on improving their artistic abilities. Whereas people like me are focusing more on learning to be consistent with sharing their platform of choice. Like I mentioned, this is all quite a challenge to me. Uh, picking my art back up after pregnancy is a little daunting, but I'm excited to share this process and I hope to encourage other new moms to pick up their art again as well. I found it to be a little difficult to find time to create and edit these videos. My kid is teething right now and I'm feeling a need to nap more in the midst of this.
If you are picking up this challenge, I'm curious to know why you're picking up the challenge and what you're choosing to create. Let me know down below. And here we go. Here's a finished piece. I'm very pleased with it. 